And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 verse 10 And God called the dry land earth. The whole chaos, that was a turbid fluid, a mixture of earth and water, a root unformed mass of matter, was called earth before, but now that part of the terraqueous globe, which was separated from the waters, and they from it, is called earth, which has its name in the Arabic language from its being low and depressed, the lighter parts having been elevated, and moved upwards, and formed the atmosphere, the grosser parts subsiding and falling downwards, made the earth, which is low with respect to the firmament, which has its name in the same language from its height, as before observed. And the gathering together of the waters called he sees. For though there was but one place into which they were collected, and which is the main ocean, with which all other waters have a communication, and so are one, yet there are divers seas, as the Red Sea, the Mediterranean, Caspian, Baltic, etc. or which are denominated from the shores they wash, as the German, British, etc. and even lakes and pools of water are called seas, as the Sea of Galilee and Tiberias, which was no other than the Lake of Genesaret. And God saw that it was good. That these two should be separate, that the waters should be in one place, and the dry land appear, and both have the names he gave them, and this is here mentioned, because now the affair of the waters, the division AUD separation of them, were brought to an end, and to perfection, but because this phrase is here used, and not at the mention of the second day, hence Picarellus, and some others, have thought, that this work is to be ascribed to the second day, and not to the third, and render. The beginning of the ninth verse, and God had said, or after God had said, let the waters under the heaven. Genesis 1 verse 9.